something that's kind of terrifying. It is a new browser. It's called the Comet Browser. And Comet Browser has AI built into it. And so if I were to, for example, be in Brightspace, and I'm a student, and I want to take a test, I'm going to go in and kind of, I'll say, start a quiz as a student. Now, keep in mind that um, we have a lockdown browser, and whoa, we need it today. Watch this. I click on Assistant, and what I can say is scan the test and answer all the questions. I didn't even spell everything right. Let's see what it does. So it's in Brightspace. Now it's looking at the questions. There's 40 questions on this unit test. And notice that the blue, it's taken over my browser and it's doing things in my browser. What is the process of lithofaction? Again, GMO, geology stuff. And it's now filling in the answers. What happens to the edges of rocks? Now it's looking at all the multiple choice questions, working through them one at a time. There's probably some really good uses of this browser. Uh, it can answer emails for you. It can do all kinds of very interesting things. And the pro version is free for students. How's that for fun? And I'm not in the pro version. I'm in this the base version right here. It's okay. It's in 12. You see what it's doing. So this is actually called Agentic AI. So the it's created an agent that has now taken over my computer to do things for me. I gave them one simple task. Now if you, for example, have kids, you want them to do forum posts or something like that in Brightspace or, or whatever, then that may not be your best choice because you can say reply to all the forum posts in once they're logged in, as I am now logged into Brightspace, then they could have it all done. It's probably going to sound pretty good. So, yeah, uh, let's just watch. Let's see how well it does on the test. We'll have it graded in just a minute. Now it's doing questions. You can see it thinking over on the right side over here. It's doing questions 19 through 30. Keeping going up. We're up to 30. There you go. All right, now it's just... Uh, and it's saving it. It's just the bright space thing. Look at that. So it's even got to look at these images. So there's some images, and it has to like interpret these particular images that it's got. I have at this point very thankful that we have a, a lockdown browser. So I could have also said, you know, write a 10 paragraph essay on such and such a topic or something like that. All right, we're at question 40. All right. I think it's still thinking over here, or reasoning, as it says. I think it's basically done. Okay. All right, still thinking. It's looking back to questions one and two. So it's, it, it went back and did a check. Look at that. Wow. It reposted question one. By the way, that's the correct answer. I'm staring at it. Well, me, okay. I'm gonna just stop it. I think it's probably good enough. I've told it to stop. I'm gonna go to the bottom. I'm gonna push submit. I've got it set that I can see what the actual score is right away. And it scored 76 out of 100, which is a perfect score. Um, I have to go back and grade these two questions. That's how I, these open-ended questions, I actually read them and grade them, but I think they look correct. All right, we've entered a new era.